Hello, in this video we're looking at Microsoft Designer, a new product that's currently available in preview. Um, some thank yous first of all. So uh, those who, who are in the education space in the UK and, and potentially globally are probably aware of at ICT Evangelist or Mark Anderson on Twitter. Um, he's doing his AppVent 22, which is his look at his favorite tools uh, throughout the year in, in the form of an advent calendar. I'll put a link to his blog below, but thank you to him for um, for flagging this product up and, and um, sharing an invite code. So what is Designer? Well, Designer is Microsoft's, let's say it's equivalent to Canva. So it's their graphic package that taps into some of the AI that they use already. So for those of you who are familiar with Microsoft products, you'll know that PowerPoint, Word, um, have what's called a designer feature. So when you go into design in PowerPoint, you go design ideas and it will automatically review the content you've added to your slide and make suggestions on what you can do to make it look better. And that, and this, in essence, this product is using those, that AI function. So let's show you what it can do. So first off, let's look at the menus. So down the left-hand side, we've got templates, which is in a very similar format to other packages such as Canva. You can upload media, you go to visuals and there's various different graphic forms that you can add to your design. Text and different text fonts and, and designs available and then styles. So you've got certain color palette combinations and you can even create your own brand kit adding hex codes to decide your colors. But I think the most impressive bit is that element of the AI working. So if we jump in and upload an image, so we can do that from Google Drive, Google Photos, Dropbox, from a QR code from our phone, or just from this device. So I'm gonna pick an image that I uploaded previously. So as soon as you upload an image, it looks at the image and starts to work out what potential designs could work. So you've got examples of blur background and, and remove remove background options for certain images or you've got certain filters that they recommend so you can see we can click on that one adds a bit of contrast or we can go back to the original one and we've got the ability to do adjustments so you could adjust the image so you've got the, the typical image based aspects if you're not sure what you want to do with it then you've got the inspire me function and that gives a suggested set of filters and, and appearance that you could apply i'm going to go back to the original and then down the other side, something which they refer to as Copilot, is lots of ideas on how you could lay it out. So from an educational perspective, where do we think this could be used? Well, I think it's quite a nice one just to show students potential ideas. So it's, it's that inspiration. We all have that challenge of looking at a clear sheet of paper and going, well, what do I do next? And I think this gives suggestions on what you could apply. Um, so it'd be quite nice maybe to put a, a, an individual image in get the students to pick a design or to look at the designs and, and, and talk about what are appropriate for certain outputs. But certainly, very quick, fun way of, of editing images. I love the fact that it's used that AI technology that it developed for the designer feature in PowerPoint. And it's also used the, 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 the features such as the automatic background in Teams, which allows them to, 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 to cut out and, or blur backgrounds of, of a particular image. So let's have a look at what we've got down the left-hand side. Got a variety of ones, so potentially we could go for that one, uh, and you can just add your text there, or we could go for something with a border, and then you can then obviously edit the the, the text that you want. So you could try a different font type. So let's try that. And they're suggesting all of the time it's suggesting certain tools. We select the text and then do that. It does the thing. So very similar feel to, to Canva uh, and picture chart to a degree. Really nice and ease of use. Um, you can alter the opacity of the image should you wish. You could change position. We can change the background color. And again, it's, it's suggesting a color palette based on the information it's taken from your image which is really nice. And very quickly you can create a design. And then when you're happy with that design, you can go to download. You can either post your design on social media or you can download it into whatever format. So from a format perspective, we've got GIF and PNG and MP4, JPEG and PDF is available there. So I um, hope you found that useful. A quick look through Designer. 
Do remember to check out Mark's app event calendar via the blog link below. And remember to subscribe to my channel and join me again soon for more EdTech videos. Thanks for watching.